guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. I created this summery look today using new makeup from BH Cosmetics. Um, I used this palette here called Bellini for my eye look. And then um, for my cheeks and highlight, I used these two palettes. This one's called Mimosa. It's this beautiful peach uh, blush palette. And then this waffle, Belgian waffle palette for highlight. And uh, it does have some bronzers, but I didn't end up using it. But you gotta you gotta keep watching and to see how it all how it all played out, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. Um, it's been kind of a hot minute since I have uh, done any filming, about a, about a week or so maybe. Well, maybe not a week, but um, it feels like it feels like it's been a long time. Let's just get into it and we'll see where it goes. I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going to do today. I have a bunch of new stuff. I want to go in. I haven't used this in a bit. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross DRX Dark Spot Sun Defense Sunscreen, and this is in a broad spectrum SPF 50. So uh, we like SPF 50. I'm actually doing like um, a cleanser, like a resurfacing treatment on my face these days. And it, one of the things it says is to make sure you use a high sun protection on your face after you use it. So um, definitely want to use, you know, an SPF 40 or an SPF 50. Um, to protect my my face while I'm do, doing this, I'll um I'm not going to share with you exactly what I'm doing right now because I kind of want to see how it goes and um, not that I I mean either way I'll, I'll share it with you. I'm just kind of seeing if I want to buy more um, items in the line and things like that. But for sure, you know, I'm using this cleanser twice a day and it's supposed to be kind of a gentle chemical resurfacing. Um, so um, I, that's only been happening about a week and I have noticed a difference. I feel like my skin's a little healthier, a little glower, glowier, a little brighter. I think it's working well so far. And that's just with the, the initial treatment. That's not even like using the products that are supposed to complement the line that's resurfacing line. So, so I got a full size of the Caudalie uh, Beauty Elixir. I love this. I love this to just kind of do an initial prep, prep of the skin. And then um, we're going to go in with primer. I'm just going to go in with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I feel like my lips need a little something. So I'm going to go in with the Primera Clean Berry Lip Balm. And this is in pink. And it gives your lips a really pretty natural flush. I'm going to do the cover of Exploring Primer just in this inner cheek area just to do some pore filling. Or minimizing as this says this is so smoothing I love this but I also think because I'm doing these resurfacing treatments that my skin also feels a lot more soft and supple than um, than it has now we're gonna go into foundation and I think I'm just gonna go with the Charlotte uh, Tilbury air airbrush flawless foundation and I do have this in the shade 5.5 neutral face. This Charlotte Tilbury is such pretty coverage. Um, you know, you can still see hy the hyperpigmentation and um, a little bit of, I mean, uh, it's not full coverage, but it it's a nice starter because we're going to put some concealer on and um, do more to kind of cover, cover some of this up, but it tamps down a lot of that redness and it provides just a really pretty base just a really clean fresh looking base i think that's the foundation and then um for well, i mean for um contour the hollywood contour one you just apply this to where you want to contour whereas for me it's in this lower cheek area and then um on the temple so i'm just lightly lightly moving this along the face. I'm not pressing hard. I'm just kind of dispersing product and then once once I feel like it's blended in to a good level, I start kind of working on the edges lightly. 
Not really trying to move product around, but just trying to blend in those edges through the temple area, trying to receive the sides of the face. Same thing on this side. And then as it's blended in, you wanna just sort of start flicking it back towards the hairline. Next, I'm gonna go into the Hourglass Vanish, and this is in the color Sepia. I'm just gonna use this here, kind of where I have my hyperpigmentation, just a little bit down the nose, chin, lightly, lightly tapping this in. Go down the nose. Not going too far into the cheek area because we did do a little bit of contour in that area, but I just want to kind of emphasize the difference between this part of the, the cheek area and the contour that we have we have created there. I did pick up a couple of things. Uh, one was this Essence Matte Bronzer Powder in Deeper Skin. Picked this up at Ulta last week and well on the back of my hand it's not doing a whole lot but let's just give it a chance and see what happens if we use a brush see if we get anything it looks really pretty but you know you still have to see how it performs it has a nice smell to it but again it doesn't we're not really getting any product off of here Okay, we're getting a little something something. And I think for me, it's a real pretty kind of cool tone. I'm not looking for something super warm. So I'm trying to build shadows across the face. So for me, this is really nice. I think that's a good start. And then um, we need a little bit of powder. So why don't we just go in with some Laura? Let's try the Pretty Vulgar um, Eye Primer. This is a relatively new product for me and I've only used it a couple of times. I find it to be um, kind of a sticky eye primer, not really like a smoothing across the lids. So I've tried to let it dry down. So I think it's kind of more like of a gripping uh, primer, which my fear is that it would make the eyeshadow a bit um, patchy. So that's why you want to make sure it dries down completely and then um, put your put your set it with some powder of some kind, a shadow. Of course, I use the Wet n Wild Brulee, but um, you guys use you know whatever you like, whatever works for you. But it is it is rather sticky, and I think it takes a bit to dry down. So just warning you, just warning you. Um, we're gonna go into some of these BH Cosmetics, these new BH Cosmetics. Um, palettes. This is this one here is called Belgian Waffle. They all have like a brunch theme, which I love. Brunch is so my favorite meal. So um, this one's called Belgian Waffle, and it is a bronzer and highlighter palette. And then um, we have Bellini, which is a beautiful peach blush palette. It's got six different shades of peach blush, which is amazing. And then this is the eye palette, and it is called mimosa so that's what we're going to work on with the eyes today um, it does have a mirror you can fold this back all the way and then those are all of the shades there aren't those i mean to have like a beautiful peach palette like this and then it's just wonderful and i'm going to start with by going into vibes here um no actually i'm going to start with we brunch this kind of tan color just to start like a little super light transition shade and then, um, and then we'll go from there. See what, see what we do. I do really like the Age Cosmetics line. Um, almost everything that I mean, it's very affordable. They have a lot of fun palettes. Um, you know, they do a lot of like festival palettes and um, 
and different things like that. But they do some really nice neutral palettes too. And their brushes are really some of my favorite brushes. I think they're very underrated, but they probably make up about half my brush collection. Laying this down, this is again that shade Wee Brunch, which is a fantastic name. Okay, so we've laid that down as kind of our transition shade. Let me see what, how we're doing. Yes, I like that. Okay, and now I'm going to go into Vibes, which is this kind of lighter, uh, very light peach color. And we're just going to kind of work that a little underneath, but pretty much overlapping Wee Brunch. Build that color up. I'm actually still even using the same brush. Look how pretty and fresh that looks. I love these peachy, corally looks, especially in the summertime. What are y'all's favorite things about summer? Um, well, my utmost favorite thing about summer it used to be, you know, pre-coronavirus, my very favorite thing about summer was the fact that traffic was lighter. All the kids were out of school, seemed like parents were taking time off, things like that. So um, that was way for sure my favorite thing about summer. And then um, I loved um, kind of the end of summer where they had all the school supplies out and I would go in and I would like buy new pens and things like that even though I wasn't going back to school. It was a nice time to kind of have, uh, to routinely restock things. So um, that was always fun. As a kid, you know, obviously you have so much fun just not going to school, sleeping late, or yeah, sleeping late, staying up late, not having a bedtime. I mean, gosh, that was really the, the fun time of life, wasn't it? No responsibilities. It was just, oh, it was pretty amazing. So carefree, so fun and carefree. I feel like we need to deepen this up a little bit. We're definitely building up color but I definitely want to kind of build this up, create a little more depth. Let's see what's happening. Yeah. We're kind of going towards this orangey pink look and I want to definitely kind of tone this down with some, some browns and such. I go into this shade called Happy Hour, which is kind of a brown color. And just use this kind of on the outer V area see if we can create a little bit of dimension. Okay, I'm just still trying to build up happy hour. Might need to go into another palette and see if I can find something a bit deeper. We'll see. This might, this might work. All right, so we have that. And then I think I'm gonna try to go into this color OJ here and take this on the edges of that orange color and see if we can tamp down some of this bright orange, orangey pink, and bring it more into kind of a neutral, a neutral look. This OJ is kind of a yellowy mustard color, but I think if we put it next to this orange, it'll kind of bring it more into a brown look. A yellowy brown look. All right, so then let's go into our friend Real Techniques setting brush and just sort of blend all of this out, see what we end up with. It's a bit dramatic, but that's okay, it's summertime. If you can't be dramatic with your makeup in the summertime, when can you be dramatic? 
I'm gonna go into this shade Fizzy, which is this shade right here. And I'm just gonna put that across the lid like so. I usually would like to use my finger, but I kind of enjoy the control of using a brush and really being able to apply that. I mean, with your finger, you definitely get more bang for your buck, I feel like, but it also kind of gets everywhere. You really don't have any control with it. Whereas when you use a little brush like this, you definitely have much more control over where it lays down. Let's just go on top of it with pop and see what happens if we use a little bit of pop. Got a little bit more of an orange look. Very close, so I don't really think it. It's got a little bit more intensity though, so. Hmm, I'm so into that, okay. And I think that's what we'll do for the eyes. This is the blush palette, this is Bellini. And look at that, look how pretty that is. All those different shades of peach. Oh, so excited. Okay, I think I'm gonna just go into like two of these here, like so, just gonna do a little swirl swirl, and then just tap that on. Do a tap, 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 tap. Pretty that is. Oh, so pretty. One of the things I got was this So You're So Jelly Jelly Highlighter from Too Faced. And it's got a bunch of like, I guess these are supposed to be kind of gummy bear things. I already played with this a little bit. But here's the jar and it says, um, yeah, it says it's a jelly highlighter. And this is in the shade Bourbon Bronze. And this has just the prettiest glow. So this is what it looks like. And there's like plenty in the cap to start with. I mean, this would last you literally a lifetime. You would never run out of this. But I'm just going to take the smallest amount here on the tip of my finger. And I'm just going to bounce this on the high points of my cheek a little bit. And make sure it's very well blended in. I'm not going to like set it down and then um, go on to another part of my face because I don't want it to dry down and then I can't blend it in. I mean, you want to set it, you want to apply it and you want to, um, you want to blend it in immediately. Don't leave it sitting there because then you'll have those kind of dry spots. Okay, we are almost done. Um, I finished using that So Jelly highlighter and I put some on my forehead. And it isn't a super blinding highlighter, but I think it just really makes you look very kind of, um, very luminous and, um, and just really pretty. So that's definitely a favorite. I'm gonna enjoy using that all, all summer long. And then I am gonna go into um, Belgian Waffle here and you can see the, this is um, just a light contour powder here, but then you have these darker bronzer colors and then these three highlighters. And um, I'm going to go into Syrup, this one right here, with a Morphe fan brush, and just apply this to the high points of the face, just where we want a little bit of glow. You see that? Just where we want a little, a little something. All right, and then, um, then we need something kind of, even though this has a bronzer in it, I want a more of a glowy looking bronzer. We're gonna go into this Milani Baked Bronzer, and this is in the shade Soleil, 05 Soleil. And you can see how that, how that, how pretty that is. Let me see if I can do a little swatchy swatch. Can you see that and how it just kind of shimmers? It's really pretty. And then just give ourselves a little bit of a sun-kissed glow. Like we got a like we did do a backyard barbecue this this weekend, but we really didn't. 
there's that. And then for lips, I'm going to use this Flower Beauty um, Lip Duo, and this is in the shade Bronze Envy. So we have a lipstick side. Ooh. What do we think? That seems a bit dark, don't you think? Okay. For a gloss, I'm going to go in with the Milani Keep It Full, and this is in the shade... Natural Luster 15. Let's see if this will kind of lighten up that bronze. There we go. It kind of tamps down that darkness a little bit. So I am going to go in with the Max Fix Plus, and this is in the bronze, bronze light. And it has kind of that swirl to it. I'm going to use this one to kind of protect my eyes. Then I'm gonna go into the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is in the Summer Solstice. It kind of has like a, a coconutty, slight coconutty suntan oil kind of smell. And that should set our makeup for the day. All right, guys, this is the final look. Um, we used um, some new makeup today from BH Cosmetics and um, created a kind of, I think, just a really summery, fresh look. Thanks a lot for joining me, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please um, comment below and give it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.